Marshmallows. Oh, marshmallows. Do they move around when you're looking for them? Sure do. Sometimes I find them over here, and sometimes I find them over there. You think they came this way? Because if they did, they'd pretty much have to run. And the last time I saw them, they didn't have feet. <laughs> Maybe they rolled like rocks. Or slithered like snakes. Or gotcha. Chip? Now all I gotta do is find your big pal, and the first mission of the CCRT will be complete. Oh, no. <laughs> Niblet? Niblet, where's Chip? There. No, this is all my fault. It's not Nibs, it's his. You should have been watching him, Slick. He's just a pup. That's not just any pup, Lucky. That one is your brother. Chip's my brother? But how? How do you think? I met his mom, fell in love, had some puppies. And he ended up with you? He was the runt. Her people couldn't find a home. Well, at least he's gotten to know his father. Not really. Fact is, I've never told him I'm his father. You what? Look, I'm trying not to do to him what I did to you, okay? Hey, there's a truck! We'll never catch him. Oh, yes, I will. And they're on that side. What are we gonna do? Hey, he's the dad. And you're the brother. <sighs> okay, but I'm doing this for Chip and not for you, Slick. Niblet, head back to the pound and tell Strudel to find out where Netter's joint is. Right! Squirt, get the pigeons to find every dog catcher truck in the city. Got it, boss. Cookie, get the braking kit, then find Leroy and use him to follow our scent to wherever we end up. I'm on it! I gotta hand it to you, kiddo. You really know how to lead a team. Probably got that from me. The only thing I got from you was my snout. I got an idea. <laughs> Cross the river. You coming? Recon, we got a problem. <laughs> strudel, strudel. Lucky says it's an emergency. I wish this thing would go faster. You should have thought of that before you hijacked it. Why are you always so mad at me? Well, let's see. You show up in my pound after five years, turn everything I know upside down, make all my friends like you better than me, and to top it all off, tell me I have a little brother, who you treat way better than you ever treated me, by the way. You know, Lucky, someday you're going to have to stop seeing me like you did when you were a puppy. What is that supposed to mean? Well, when you're a puppy, you can't really know what's going on with your parents. You think things are one way when they're actually the other, and when something bad happens, like your parents separate, you think it's your fault. I never said it was my fault. True, but you're still only seeing one side of things. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Look, I never belonged to the Harrimans, okay? I belong to the Morrisons. The Morrisons? That's right. Your mother belonged to the Harrimans. My family, the Morrisons, lived next door. That's how we met, through the fence. But then, how did... Oh, like everything. We fell in love, had puppies, everything was wonderful. Until one day, the Morrisons moved away. Moved? Where did they go? Other side of town. Miles from you pups, miles from your mother. I didn't want to be with the Morrisons anymore, so I started running away every chance I got. You mean... That's right, kiddo. I wasn't running from you all those years. I was running to you. Oh, we made it. Slick, wait! Well, if I could read, I could be more certain. But it seems to me... <coughs> well, I'll be a monkey's Rottweiler. Wait, Slick, you, you can't leave things like this. I'm not leaving anything. I'm just trying to find Chip. Yeah, but all that time you were running away to be with us? Why didn't Mom say anything? I don't know. You have to ask her. I wanted her to come with me, but she refused. Said a dog's place was with her people. A pup for every person and a person for every pup. Sound familiar? <sighs> yeah. Anyway, that's when I realized I didn't believe the whole dog-human thing anymore. Dogs should just run free. No leashes, no yards, no nothing. But that goes against everything I believe in. That's what your mother said, too. What are they saying? They think they found them. Come on! Okay, there's a truck, but how do we know it's netters? We don't, but on the other hand... Lucky! Lucky! We figured it out! Yeah, so did... Hey! Ain't no way to case a house. He thinks he knows everything. Well, in this case, he's right. What do you mean? Well, I'll be a monkey's Rottweiler. Uh, hello, Dad. <laughs> it's me, Bobby. Listen, something really weird has come up. You know the whole CCRC thing? Well, I think I was wrong. anywhere.
anywhere. Now hurry up. Slick! You came for me! You really came for me! Of course I did. Said I would, didn't I? You sure did. But did you see him, Slick? Yeah, I saw him, Chip. They're pretty amazing, don't you think? Yeah, they sure are. So, you won't be mad if I decide to stay? No. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pup needs its person and all that. Maybe someday, Slick, you'll you'll come back and see me, right? Sure, kid. Whenever you need me, you just tell the squirrels, they'll tell Lucky, and I'll be there. Okay, they're clean, Mom. Help me! You okay, Slick? Yeah, sure. I'm used to it. It's the way of the world. Just not mine. Is any consolation, the FKD picked Netter's kids as Chip's perfect people. Well, it's a win-win for you, then. Where are you going now? No, oh, I don't know. Other side of town, I guess. Can I ask you something, Slick? Sure, Lucky. Do you ever think about me? Every day, kiddo. Every day. Hey, Dad? Want to play a little tug-of-war? That's the best offer I've had for five years, six months, and three weeks. Arrgh.